National Grid Grain LNG is the first truly commercial LNG terminal in the country. As one of four strategically located sites of its type, it plays an important role in securing the UK's gas supply. Britain is the second largest consumer of gas in Europe, relying heavily on imports of LNG. National Grid Grain LNG imports LNG into the UK here at Grain. We import LNG, which is liquefied natural gas, which is uh, gas stored at minus 160 degrees C, and uh, cleverly it, uh, it reduces in volume by 600 times. That 600 times less volume means it's very easily transportable fuel from all the different countries around the world, pushing LNG into the UK here. Importing and storing liquefied natural gas brings new demands on port infrastructures like National Grid LNG at Grain. As vessel sizes are on the increase, docking, mooring and fendering equipment and systems need to adapt to meet these new berthing challenges. LNG port facilities are now faced with supporting the berth of larger LNG vessels of up to 266,000 cubic metres capacity and discharging or loading contents to and from these ships efficiently and safely. Well, National Grid had a site here for a long time, since 1980. We converted a peak shave LNG terminal into an import terminal in 2005. And that was our first ship ever to come into the UK. And it's the first of the modern LNG terminals in the UK as well. That was our first jetty. Our second jetty was uh, commissioned in 2010, again using trail ball equipment. The reason for importing LNG into the UK is really focused on the declining um, amount of supply from UK continental shelf. So that, that gas supply is uh, dwindling and LNG is making up the shortfall for that. So you have this installation here is really meeting the UK's demand, keeping UK PLC working.